Today we will talk about the CUT eligibility criteria. In this video, you will get to know that what is CUT, when you need to give it and what are the eligibility criteria for it. Hello everyone, I am Nikita Saraswat, Career Psychologist at Toppers Academy. So, today we will talk about the CUT eligibility criteria. In this video, you will get to know that what is CUT, when you need to give it and what are the eligibility criteria for it. Let's start with it. So, firstly, we will try to understand that what does CUT exactly mean. So CUT means that your common university entrance test, it is a pivotal entrance examination that is required when you want to enroll yourself for any undergraduate or postgraduate programs at your central, state, deemed and other CUT participating institutes. Okay. So, your NTA conducts this examination in your CBT mode. NTA stands for your National Testing Agency and CBT means your computer based test, right? So, let's move on to the major eligibility criteria that you require to sit for this examination. Let's start with it. Firstly, the candidate who want to appear for this examination, he or she needs to secure a minimum of 50% of your marks in your plus 2 examination. And if the student belongs to your SC or ST category, they need to secure minimum of 45% in, in their 12 plus 2 examination. Let's move on to your second eligibility criteria. So it is that whatever subjects you want to get in your undergraduate or postgraduate programs, you should have those in your plus two. So this is your second eligibility criteria. Third is that the candidate should be of Indian nationality. Let's move on to the other eligibility criteria that we have for the seat. So fourth is that you need to take minimum of or you need to select minimum of three participating universities uh, uh, under that you need to select at least three of your programs also. After that if I talk about that who can appear for this examination if you have completed your plus two in that case you can sit for the CUT or in case you are pursuing your plus two in that case also you can give the CUT examination but the condition is that when you go for the counseling process you should have the passing certificate and the mark sheet with you after that if we talk about the age limit so there is no age limit for the CUT examination Let's move on to the reservation also that what are the reservation criteria in this examination. Firstly, we'll go one by one as per the categories. If we talk about the scheduled tribe, these are the SC, they have 15% of reservation. If we talk about the scheduled tribe, these are ST and they have 7.5% of reservation. If we talk about the other backward classes these are O, B, C, non creamy so they have 27% of reservation and if we talk about persons with disability these are P, W, D so they have 5% of exam uh, reservation apart from that if we talk about the E, W, S, E, W, S are the economically weaker section group so they have 10% of reservation so these are the major eligibility criteria and the reservation uh, criteria for your CUT examination. Thank you for watching the video and for more information you can contact us on this number or you can mail to us or lastly if you want to check out about the Toppers Academy you can go and check out that. One more important uh, news that I want to share with you is that 
that we will soon start the cut batches for the preparation you can enroll yourself in that for the better guidance and to crack the examination thank you for the watching video